Hi, this is Wolfgang. Thank you for sending through the work. This is an amazing opportunity to demonstrate the ICP alignment tool module. So the plan is to get the denture, um, the vertical dimensions and that onto the new um, existing post-operative implant site. The common denominator is the bite block here and we've got a couple of fitting surface we can fit the um, healing caps onto the imprint of the healing caps in the bite block and likewise we've got a couple of surfaces to which we could fit the upper denture so here goes I, i've hidden some of the other bite scans um, away and by using the filter and the little square box there so that helps. I'm going to, um, I have set the point of origin to the center of the mass. If you don't know how to do that, just push it center of mass. And you can see the orange dot there that allows me to now, if I select something, it'll kind of pivot around the dot, which is what, what makes things a lot easier. So I'm just going to grab um, the lower scan I'm going to look at some of these surfaces. Let us go into the alignment module here. I'm going to use the paint on method for this one. So here goes, um, name the, the intraoral scan moving and that's because that's moving to our destination. The bite block becomes destination. We will color the moving and by using the C key I can circular select some of these vertices in that in this area likewise we'll just paint that one and paint this one and get to that one last i'm also going to include a bit of the fitting surfaces that i can kind of see um, that we've got on the bite block so um, i'll do the same i don't want to include fitting surfaces that are um, like uneven and things like that just something i can clearly visibly um, compare to to the other side in actual fact i've got a bit of the um, gum here that i can include the ridge and maybe i can include a bit of the ridge here not not so much but we can try just put a splotch down here i think that's as much as we can see um, post-operative um, surgery site uh, there's not much that we can correlate back there but um, most certainly the hard structures like the scan bodies or you know a healing caps and those things are, are very good to to bring across apply that color the destination and same thing just using the circular select we will put a splotch down there, splotch down there. Um, so navigating is a little bit tricky because you have to right click to get out of the circular select uh, every time you, you want to move the scene. But I guess that's uh, just something one can get used to. Um, again, I'll just include some of the gum that I can see that there's in common and just putting down a few few splotches like that um, i think i've included a little bit on that side too and likewise in the back here so just painting on apply that and then we're going to move with a g key just move it a little bit closer than what they are so that they um, sort of touch each other and that's all i'm quite happy with that result don't spend too much time on that then we're going to select both and perform the icp now this is where the magic happened the two surfaces are superimposed onto each other we'll just wait for that to complete and then we're going to press the confirm now <clears throat> the next step um, if if you want to uh, just do a quick cross section to um, just work out to see what's happening. Alt B and I'll just do a cross section of this part here and let's have a look 
and we can most certainly see there's some interaction while it's not that 100% I think uh, we do have a vertical placement of of the situation here if you like you can fine tune it again um, by doing more of these alignments and um, hopefully we can get a better fit okay so it is quite important that the bite block um, fairly closely simulates the the situation which is in the mouth so using um, a, a soft impression material or something and then scanning straight away like a reline impression material that we can use directly over the implant site or rather than a hard wax because a hard wax will just push it down and uh, compress the area so we want to pick up uh, as much as detail as we possibly can to do this ICP alignment next let's get the common denominators for the denture so um, now the denture becomes the moving and um, oh before I do that we need to parent the denture uh, the upper denture to the lower denture this is very important because when we're moving it across it's got to move with it so what we do is we select um, the lower um, scan first shift and left click on the upper right click and then we're going to look for parent here in the menu we want to parent these objects now if I use if I select the upper and I push the G key the lower one will just follow which is what we want to achieve so um, we can now hide the lower because it gets in the way I'll push the H key and then we're going to just look at these two surfaces what 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 we can find in common sometimes it helps just to tilt it more or less uh, rotate it so we can uh, get a better view of the situation so here we can see premolars I'll bring them a little bit closer so we can compare and um, remember to call the bite block destination which it still is which is good so now we're going to just push color moving and here I'm using the again the circular select tool and we're going to we can go clear vision of a lot of the surfaces here especially around here uh, the denture palette and within the incisal edges there we've got a lot of um, common ground here so which is good um, and the flat worn teeth also act as a good uh, surface to superimpose onto so here goes and um, after we've done that uh, we're just going to push I'll just do a couple of more that surfaces that I can detect um, there's some of the anterior teeth are missing uh, which shouldn't be a problem so apply that then we're going to color the destination and then same thing we're just going to push C circular select the premolars like this and a bit of the, the palette here that we've we've selected earlier and inside the canine the flat surfaces are the premolars and the molars like this and I think we should uh, be okay like that so apply that and now like we did earlier use G key just bring them into closer proximity G again uh, kind of let them touch each one another like that select both push perform ICP and let the magic happen and then confirm that so now we've got um, the the denture and we can just hide the the bite block I suppose hide it and we've got um, the way it it is located um, in the mouth if you were to put the denture into the mouth uh, so the key take-home message is um, the bite block needs to be um, accurate in the impression on the lower fitting surface as well as the upper fitting surface so that we can 
um, use that as a common denominator for uh, the dentures and um, uh, do it this way. So of course if you wanted to now do um, create a new denture we could um, using the patient's existing teeth we could cut out these teeth we can then go to the splint and layer module lay down a new uh, layer a fitting surface over the the implant site and then we can connect those teeth up with um, a, 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 some of the gum that we've got in the module and you could quite easily make a new lower denture this way and if you want me to make a tutorial on that I'll be quite happy to do that. Thank you, thanks for watching, bye.